Right everyone, Fred Collector here. Right, it's going to be another Bowie build today. So this one is a, see how big this blade is, I think it's 10 inches or 11, I can't remember. Um, if you go right down to the guard, it's just under 10 inches. So it's quite a big Bowie. Yeah. So yeah, this one is going to have a nice big solid brass guard. This is the guard that comes with it. I don't normally like their guards. I keep these because I could use them for other builds. But for my bows, I prefer a bigger one. Beach handles. This has got a very big handle. I'm going to take some of that off. Also, this wood wouldn't even be big enough. A nice three mil thick leather sheath that's going to be black with brass on the so it's going to have a brass, brass collar and a brass shape, black leather and uh, brass pins. So it should be quite a nice Bowie knife. Um, yeah, and overall, what would the cost of this one be? This would be a little bit more expensive than normal because of the brass. Um, but not overly. This whole build, if you bought everything, probably wouldn't be more than... Well, probably 40 quid saying that. Yeah, if you bought everything, if you had to buy everything, because in all honesty, that's only five quid. That's only five quid. The lever itself would only be about fiver. And this blank's 20 quid. So yeah, 40 quid. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is start the guard, because essentially the blade is done. I'm going to sharpen this one up nicely. My other Bowie I did, I didn't really sharpen it. This one is going to get a good sharpen. Um, yeah, so start on the guard. Here's a little bit of advice for people, right? If you buy the right uh, brass, you can see how easy that drilled then. One other thing I would say, right, and in, in the description I can link to this stuff, or at least let you know what it is. I'll put an annotation telling you what kind of brass this is. But it's the perfect thing for bending and machining, cold machining as they call it, you know, like we do at filing. One other bit of advice. Did you see how this when I was drilling it, it was shooting up the drill bit as the drill bit went through. Be very careful of that. That's why I left this hole before I drilled it. If I was trying to hold that little bit and that shot up the drill bit like that, that would have started spinning, probably hurt my hand. So always be aware of that. I've only, I've only ever had that issue with brass. It must catch on the drill bit. So you either want to leave it in a big bit or screw the smaller bit to a piece of wood which you would have seen me do in other videos. If I'm ever using anything small, don't try and hold it, especially brass. Screw it down to a piece of wood, a big piece of wood, that you can have a lot of control over, or clamp it to your um, drill bit, to your drill. Right, so I'm now going to get a screwdriver. See those lovely drill holes as well, where I've, um, where I punched it, it's made those really close. That'll make this really easy now. So just put it in, a, in the vise, hit between there with a chisel or a screwdriver and then start filing it. So just keep going around until you've basically got a hole big enough to get your file in. Don't take long. Yeah, as I said, if you get the right brass, this stuff is absolutely lovely to work with. Alright, there's a little bit more and then we can start shaping the actual guard. Right, so this is the shape I'm after on both sides. 
see that coming so it'll be sort of tapered in these grooves cut in and then it will be bent in a sort of S shape so one will be going up one will be going down and they'll be bending I'll try and get it just after the um, the grooves so it doesn't really matter how you do this you can cut them bits off first or you can do those bits but I'm just going to shape this into this basic shape now That's the rough shape of the guard done. This side's going to be the top. I've put a maker's mark on the bottom, saying that. If I have that on the bottom, that's going to be hidden under the scales, isn't it? So it may be on the top saying that. Um, makes no difference anyway. But yeah, if it's underneath, it's going to be hidden by the scales. Um, so now to bend it. So, I see, I don't, because this is symmetrical, it doesn't really matter. As long as one's going one way, one's going the other way, I can all turn it round. So, I'm going to try and bend it, I'm not sure, I may have to just see what happens, hopefully this should bend okay. But don't go mad with it. Yeah, that's going to be alright, in fact. I've got a little bit more, I don't really need to go too far with this. Oh yeah, actually that's going to look nice. So, I think if I just bend this one a little bit more, that's done. I can always adjust it anyway, let's try it on the blade. So, you want it up at the back, so it would be this way. Yeah, look at that. That's going to be quite nice, actually. Yeah. So, uh, I'd probably recommend at this point finishing off the guard. So, that'll be giving it a good old sand, getting all the edges nice and smooth, so that later on it can be polished up nicely. Right, so I've already cut the slabs to the right thickness save me messing around I do have a, maybe a mill off um, I think this one fits this side though so I'm now going to mark where the, the drill holes go this is going to stick out but I'm going to cut this off because this hand is massive so it's probably going to be cut off round about here and shaped like that Right, I'm going to do this by hand just because it's the right drill bit that just happens to already be in the drill. The little hand drill. I wanted to explain this in the last video, but uh, it failed to record. I bought some, I think they're called Chicago screws. The issue with these is the threaded part only goes down to about there. I suppose, oh, and also the hole only goes down to there, so that's solid, which means I can't adjust the, I can't cut them down like I could with the other bolts I used. So what I'm having to do is put the nut on, cut off this end, and then use it like a rivet, which is what I'll be doing for this. Right, I'm going to glue these handles on now, and then shape them afterwards. So I'm just going to use some of this cheap epoxy that I bought, it's all right it's nothing special you only get about one bloody thing out of it though for the amount i need to use one use <laughs> so it's a bit sort of you know so this is just an epoxy you just mix it for a minute put it on and then within six minutes it should be rock hard In. So once that's dry, we can take that off, cut off T2 
tips of these and use it like a rivet because they're too long and they can't be used now i've got to do turn these little bolts into rivets essentially so yeah so just gently peen it over now Right, that's the handle done really I can now put some varnish on it I've got some gloss varnish for this I bought this specifically to make these now yeah see what this looks like and then I'll be working on the sheath which should be something a little bit different to what I normally do We'll start the sheaf now if you ever want to see how to make a full sheaf go and have a look on my channel and you'll see videos of this i won't show you the whole process uh so what i'm going to do now is cut it out so it'll be one half another half a belt loop and then the inside bits to make up the gap and just remember if you're using a thick knife if it's thicker than what your separating bit is make sure you've got a decent enough gap to get the knife in and out um, yeah and if you've got enough lever if you've got a big enough lever you don't need to add a belt loop like I do but I don't have no choice uh, size of these sheaves they need an added thing afterwards it's easier that way right so I've got the basic shape of the sheaf again it's going to have brass collar that's not the actual colour of the brass, it'll actually be proper, you know, mirror brass, hopefully. That's just a protective bit of stuff. So that'll be there. And then we're going to have a similar thing down the bottom here. So that'll be like that. <clears throat> what I need to do now, cut that one as well. Mark on here for the four rivets here. And then the three on the lower section. So that I can then drill through that will leave the drill hole so I know where to sew up to and where to avoid <clears throat> right so there's the holes for the collars and the shape so now I will just again I won't bother showing you this bit I'll show you when I rivet on the, the things but all I'm gonna do now if I can find it mark the holes drill them out and then I can start sewing it. Right, that's the stitching done. We can now put on the collars, if I remember which one which one these were. <clears throat> I think it's that way so these will go on and be riveted on yeah, this is the issue they'll keep popping off for a while I wonder if it's worth putting a bit of glue underneath <clears throat> a bit of super glue but yeah just keep tapping until you get it on you'll eventually get it on but they'll fall off for a while until you start getting a bit Held over. Right, so there's the brass ends, just put a bit of dye on. What I might do, purely because the brass is slightly scratched, I might give it a brushed 
um, brushed finish. Because I think it looked better. I think it's a bit too shiny. Makes it look slightly odd, I think. Right, here it is then. The, um, the brass and black bowie and sheath. Quite happy with that. I think it looks quite good. Uh, I'll be honest with you, doing this kind of stuff is quite difficult. Um, I do think it looks better brushed metal, hides more of the scratches. But yeah, um, still not sharpened yet. I need to clean up the blade a little bit. But yeah, you can see that's a proper decent sized bowie. It will get a sharpen and it will get a test as well. But uh, before this video ends, you'll definitely see some high quality. Um, video close up of this yeah there's another one for you I'm very happy with that it's pretty much what I was planning um, yeah I, I did mean to do some um, pattern work on it but that's very easy to mess up yeah I am very happy with it and I definitely want to do some cutting of it so yeah don't get to watch the rest of the video and then later on there'll be a part two of me cutting some bottles with this if I can get it decently sharp anyway. Alright, don't go to the video, don't get to watch the rest. See you later.